j'ai eu la chance aussi d'avoir été guidé. Et donc ce projet avec, avec Good Goût, c'est ça, c'est de, de vraiment sensibiliser les gens à, à bien manger et leur faire comprendre aussi que c'est pour eux aussi avant tout. Kylian Mbappe could have done a commercial for a fast food brand starting with an M, or a B, or even a K. Because it's true that every now and then, fast food can be nice. He definitely could have earned more money with a giant of the fast food industry. But no, Mbappe preferred to lend his image to Good Goo? Why? Kylian Mbappe lent his image to the organic baby food brand Good Goo. The brand even forced him to get stuck in, making him and some children cook up a Madeleine recipe that's going to be marketed. How cute! Why did Kylian decide to work with this brand? J'adore les enfants, ils représentent l'avenir, l'avenir du monde. C'est important d'avoir euh, tout de suite les bonnes habitudes. Ils vont être les premiers importants d'être en bonne santé, de pouvoir euh, être en pleine possession de leurs moyens. Donc pour moi, c'est important de délivrer ce message-là. Eat healthy. That's the message Kylian Mbappe wants to pass on to kids. Because food is the basis of health. And despite this, obesity numbers are growing more concerning year after year. According to the UN, in 2016, more than 340 million children and adolescents aged 5 to 19 were overweight or obese. Remember when I made a joke at the start of the video about fast food being good? Let me be clear, only in moderation. Kylian Mbappe also chose this brand because it advocates for organic food. For him, it's very important to think about the environment. <laughs> on s'en est aperçu là ces derniers temps que la, notre planète elle était en danger et qu'il fallait arrêter de, de penser égoïstement, penser à, à la planète, c'est nous protéger, c'est protéger les autres. Bah, on, va leur, on va leur laisser euh, le monde entre les mains et à nous de mieux les, de les préparer au maximum et de leur donner les, les bonnes billes comme on dit. Who is this guy? Is he a superhero? The Mbappe family put young Killian on the right path from an early age. And good nutrition is something he values. A partnership with an organic brand is therefore more logical than with a fast food company, even if he could have earned more money with a big burger brand. In any case, Kylian Mbappe is not like other players. He doesn't want to look like that. Doing commercials for everything and anything. Yes, anything. Kylian Mbappe doesn't just work with his kit sponsor, who he's been associated with since 2006. He has deals with a luxury watch brand that also works with Pele, as well as Good Goo and a Japanese male grooming brand. Oh, and he's on the cover of FIFA 21, but you probably knew that already. But wait a second, we're not criticizing the players who do strange commercials. We just want you to understand that every player has their own marketing strategy. And seeing Mbappe doing an ad for organic madeleines and fruit snacks, that's a bit different. Besides, he likes fruit puree. What's your favorite flavor, boss? Pomme, ananas, et banane. Moi, j'ai dit les compotes instantanément parce que c'est mon, c'est mon quotidien. Comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, on, on se dépense beaucoup, surtout en première mi-temps. Et à la mi-temps, ça fait toujours du bien de, de se rafraîchir, de, de prendre une bonne compote. Ça redonne des forces. Et c'est, c'est bon pour mon corps. Je sais que c'est bon pour mon corps, donc je prends, je prends souvent. Okay, Killian. Given that it makes you so fast and unstoppable, we'll have to try it at halftime too. More seriously, it's by spreading the kind of message that Mbappe is spreading that mentalities change. Nowadays, football superstars sometimes have a bigger impact on kids than their parents. Kylian Mbappe won't single-handedly overturn the rate of obesity, but it already makes more sense to see a footballer doing an organic food commercial than one for unhealthy food that's overconsumed. Add to this the fact that he's fighting against racism in France and the USA. He's involved in helping young kids from deprived areas. And that on the pitch, he won the World Cup at only 19 years old. I'm going to repeat myself. Are we really sure that this kid isn't a superhero? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.